Balance has been restored in the world as Undertaker has defeated Brock Lesnar to win in WWE SummerSlam this weekend. It's not shy away from some problems there as we've seen Undertaker walking off, potentially collapsing, some may say. Who knows if it was staged or it wasn't, but the point is that Undertaker had defeated Brock Lesnar SummerSlam this weekend. It wasn't shy of controversies, as I said, with Undertaker, but not just with him, John Stewart made a cameo appearance and he did get himself involved. Some people on Twitter, I'll throw out some tweets now, weren't happy about his appearance there, um, despite the fact that he assisted Seth Rollins in winning the WWE Heavyweight title against John Cena, as we see John Stewart coming in. A bearded John Stewart, I guess retirement suiting him well, I think he suited that scruff. He comes in, struck John Cena with a chair, which some fans were not happy about his involvement before Rollins finished him off to defeat John Cena. So apparently, from John Stewart's standpoint, and I know a man here who tries to stand up for right over wrong, says that he wanted to give the fans what they wanted, because apparently, uh, when it comes to John Cena, Fans don't like him as much. I'm not sure what you guys think about that, but that was John Stewart's reasoning when it came to his involvement with the Seth Rollins fight. So let us know what you guys think about that. Was he right to get involved or not? But I wanted to talk about The Undertaker. So, as we mentioned, the best tweets and memes in the world came from Undertaker's defeat to Brock Lesnar. Uh, the, the best one thrown up here has been used numerous times. It's one of my personal favorites. But it seemed like balance was restored, but not without a catch. Undertaker, of course, defeating Brock Lesnar, but as you, uh, a video, I don't know whether it's staged or not, I want to leave that up to you guys who are more wrestling, uh, I would say, experts than I am. I'm just a fan here, but uh, watching it, it seemed a little bit, uh, I don't know, a little bit weird, the fact that he stumbled, but just before he went off behind the scenes, he collapses, and then there's a video apparently surfaced of him walking around fine behind the scenes. Could this be a way to tee up Undertaker's downfall, to tee up the fact that he might be on his way out? He is 50 now, but I want to leave that up to you guys to decide. But the fact that uh, he seemed to collapse after, the, there seems like there will be a rematch there, but will this come into play? Will his exhaustion be the fact that Brock Lesnar might beat him in a rematch and eventually take over as The Undertaker goes on his way up. So at a time where WWE kind of needs to hold on to its icons, of course the sad uh, passing away of Roddy Roddy Piper and with Hulk Hogan fiasco going on, I don't see him making a return to the WWE anytime soon. Would this be a right time for The Undertaker to retire or would it be the worst possible time in terms of the WWE? Of course, is this whole collapse thing that's came around, is this just a, an excuse for The Undertaker to retire? We do remember that horrible concussion that he suffered that kept him out for a while and he is 50 now, but I want to leave it up to you guys to decide. Do you think that this is an excuse for him to retire or do you think he's actually exhausted? I don't know. Let us know in the comment section below and subscribe to TYT Sports.